Hello, Ethan. Are you ready for today's class? We'll start in ten minutes. Okay. Yes, teacher, but I need your help. I have something important to tell you. I can't keep studying English anymore. Next month, I won't come to class. What? Why are you traveling to another country, or what happened? I don't know. I mean, that's the idea. I'm applying for a job position, and I really hope I can get it. They are asking me to have an optimal level of English to get the job. And if I get it, I could travel to different countries. That's the job I have been waiting for. Oh, that sounds great. But then why would you stop studying English? I don't understand. This is my last chance to learn English. I have been studying for a few months. I know, but I need to learn English fast. If I get the job, I will travel a lot, and if I don't get it, there will no longer be a need to continue studying English. I need to speak English fast. That's why I need your help. Please, there must be something I can do to learn English fast. I see. I understand. You're not the first student to ask me something like this. I will tell you how you can finally speak English. You only need five things. Are you ready? Because with these things, you will be able to speak English faster. I am totally sure about it. First, break it down. Then, build it up. To speak English well, you need to be able to do several things. At the same time, choose suitable vocabulary. Use the right grammar and sentence patterns. Work on these individual elements separately. Then, practice putting them together to make your speech more accurate and fluent. That's the best way to learn something. Students always try to learn everything. For example, when they watch a movie, they want to learn listening, writing, speaking, reading, everything at the same time. Is impossible to do. Yeah, maybe, but it is really difficult, my friend. It's better to focus on something specific, step by step. First, vocabulary. Then. Speaking. When you read a book, set a goal before you start. Say, "All right, I will learn ten new words today." That worked really well for me. Seriously, don't just sit down and practice. No, what else? Oh, something very important. Please, for the love of God, start simple. Very few people are true beginners when it comes to English. Take what you know. For example, "How are you?" that uses the verb to be. Do you know what I mean? No. Okay. The students always expect to have a wide variety of vocabulary or grammar to start the conversation. When you ask someone to speak English with you, they usually tell you. No, I'm just a beginner. Like they don't feel ready to communicate in English. Come on, you don't need to be an advanced level. I'm going to tell you a personal experience. When I was a basic student, I had the chance to go on a trip. It was a short trip in the city. I went with my classmates from the English Institute. The idea was to interview people from other countries. There were a lot of tourists that day. My partners were also basic level. They said they didn't feel ready to have a conversation with a native speaker. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't feel ready either. But I decided I was going to do it anyway. That day, believe me. Was one of the best days in my life. My English was poor, I am sure. 
But they understood what I said. Hello, how are you? Where do you live? Really? I was having a conversation with a native English speaker. I will never forget that day. My point is, just do it. Even if you're basic. Take any chance you have to practice your English. Another thing you should do to speak English faster, if you want to do it now, memorize these verbs. Be, have, do, say, get, make, go, know, take, and see. Those are the top 10 most common verbs in English. Please memorize them all. Just knowing these verbs can get you through a lot of basic conversations. Believe me. Oh, use your body. Nonverbal communication is very important for effective speaking, even for native English speakers. Use gestures, body language, and facial expressions for explanation or emphasis. And try to read what the other person's body language is saying. Think about your posture too. The way you stand or sit can make the difference between seeming bored or interested in what your conversation partner is saying. It helps a lot. Put it into practice. Finally, think in English. Yes, I know what you're going to say. How can I think in English if I still don't know English very well? Don't worry. You don't need to have an advanced level of English to start thinking in English. No, thinking in English is a great way to improve your spoken English, and you can do it anywhere, anytime. At home, you can talk to yourself while doing everyday tasks like preparing a meal. If you are on the train or bus, then describe the people around you in your head. Not allowed. And when you go to sleep, go over the day's events in English. Every action you make during the day. Everything you see, every music you listen to, every thought you have during the day, translated to English. If you don't know the word, use a dictionary or describe it in a different way with different words. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself all the time. I don't know how many times I have to repeat it. It works really well, and it's a great way to think in English. Just try it. I could give you more tips to speak English faster, but we have to start classes now. Are you kidding? What you have told me is amazing. I will do it. Thank you very much. Great. And what about you guys? Do you do any of these things? Tell me about it. I hope you like this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. Thank you very much for your support.